First, get comfortable. You can sit with your legs crossed or in a chair. You may also choose to lay down. No matter what posture you take, close your eyes and bring your attention to the breath. Breathe deeply and feel the life-giving air flow through your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Inhale, feel your muscles relax. Drape your body or the line of your spine and feel yourself sink into the surface supporting you. Keep the natural curve in your neck and in your lower back. Exhale, feel any negative or blocked energy flow out of you, carried on the flow of your breath. Inhale to replace that energy with fresh, healing, life giving sustenance. As you breathe, check in with your body. Notice any pain or discomfort you feel. Focus your mind in these places for a moment. Reach out in spirit to these points and breathe into the pain, directing the heat flow of your breath into it. If the pain dissipates, move on to another point of pain or refocus your attention back to the flow of your breath. The pain does not dissipate. That's okay. Thank your body for the work that it does to keep you alive and move on to another point or refocus your attention to your breath. Once you have checked in with your body, come back to the flow of your breath. Inhale healing energy. Exhale 
blocked energy. Keep with this for as long as you need in order to relax fully. When you are ready, visualize yourself at the top of a staircase, spiraling downwards into darkness before you. You are safe here. The path is lit just enough for you to see the next step you need to take. It is dark, but you are safe here. Take your first step down and seek deeper into meditation. Continue to step downwards, sinking deeper with each step. Now we will count down from 10. When we reach the last step, we will come to the bottom of the staircase. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6,
listen to the swaying of the trees as the wind guides you forward. After some time, the path leads you to a clearing. In the center of the clearing is a great tree. It stretches up and up and up, taller than any of the others. You know this tree is old. You can feel its ancient wisdom and power where you stand. As you approach the tree, you see an altar before you. On the altar are four bones. In the first, Birds of flame, strong, hot, and bright. From the next bowl rises a powerful vortex made of clear, clean water. Next, you see a column of earth rising from the next bowl, gently shifting and pouring over itself. Lastly, a small tornado whips around in the final bowl. Take a seat before the altar if you so desire. Perhaps there is a bench or a chair nearby. You may also choose to stand. Once you have made yourself comfortable, turn to the elements. Does one element in particular call to you? Reach out for it and take hold of it in the palm of your hand. There is no fear that you may be hurt by the elements. There is no danger here. You are protected. You are safe. As you hold the element in your hand, notice its quality and listen for the lessons that it whispers to you. Once you have studied and listened to the elements, return it to the bowl on the altar. Thank it for its guidance and its wisdom. If you feel called by more than one or even by all of the elements, move on to another element. When you are ready to leave, thank your teachers for their lessons and walk back through the clearing to the path. As you walk the path, once again, immerse yourself and your senses in the forest around you. Know that you can return here at any time to reconnect with the forest and with the elemental altar as well. Ahead of 
is the familiar darkness from which you entered the forest. You can see the bottom step of the staircase. Step onto it and allow the comforting safety of the darkness envelop you. Walk up the stairs and count up to ten. Love and luck.